Hey guys, it's Carlin McCullough here from Shed Tracks. Thanks for purchasing Shed Tracks. Man, I greatly appreciate it. So let's jump in, guys. When you purchase a file from Shed Tracks, whether it's a course or um, some drum sounds or some play alongs, they're all going to come in these type of emails, okay? So you'll, have, you'll get two emails from us. You see the first one at the top, it says your downloads are ready. The second one says order confirmed. Now, the order confirmed one will come first and the your downloads ready email will come second. They'll probably be maybe like five or ten seconds behind each other, okay? So let's go ahead and, uh, oh, and actually these directions that I'm about to give you will work for uh, either of these emails, okay? So let's go ahead and open the order confirmed email. And once you open that email, this will have your receipt in there with all your um, your purchases. Uh, it will show how much you paid. OK, so once we open that email, we can go ahead and click view your order and you will come to this screen, which is another offer that we have for you. But you can scroll past it if you're not interested. It is an offer for our social media secrets course where we teach you how to grow your social media pages. But if you just scroll below that, you just come down to where you can see this blue download now button. You want to go ahead and click on that. And it will say, do you want to download name of your share track dot zip? You want to go ahead and click download. And once you do that, now you want to go ahead and navigate to your files app on your iPhone, which I will show you how to do that now. OK, guys, I'm sure you see that cute picture of my daughter there. But um, here is my files app here on my iPhone. It's somewhere on your phone. And if you don't know where to find it, if you got a lot of apps on your uh, phone like I do, you can just pull down and literally type in files and it will show you right there where it is. And you can just go ahead and click under applications right there. You can see it, the white square, blue folder, just click files. OK, and there you see it. The first folder there is actually still downloading. Uh, and I will say this. If you are not on Wi-Fi, it may take a while. So you definitely want to be on Wi-Fi when you download Shed Tracks, especially our Max files, which contain our stems. Um, or if you're buying a course from us, which is a video, um, you definitely want to be on Wi-Fi. And if you're not, then just be prepared to wait for a while, okay? Um, try to be on the fastest connection you can be if you want to get to your files as quickly as possible, okay? So it looks like our file is finished downloading, and you want to go ahead and click on it now. And then you can actually preview the content. Okay, so after we've previewed the content, once you're in this preview screen where you can see the actual WAV file there in the middle, you can also click the left, um, the bottom left button down there with the arrow facing up. Click that and you will now have the option to save to files or save to Dropbox. So if you have Dropbox installed, you'll be able to save to your a folder inside of your Dropbox account. If you do not have Dropbox installed, you can save to files, which is the default application that's on your iPhone. So if you go ahead and click save to files, let's do that first. And now you have the option of where you want to save your uh, your folder for what you just downloaded. So um, what you could do is on the top right corner, you see you have the folder with the plus button if you want to press that button you can create a folder on your iphone within your files app where you can store your purchase um, and then after you do that then you would click save so let's go ahead and create a folder right now a place to basically save this uh, file that we just purchased okay so let's click that folder with the plus button and now we'll title this uh we can just title it shed tracks for now we're going to head and click done in the bottom right hand corner. So now we've created this folder called shed tracks. And if you see in the middle of the screen towards the top, it says three drumless music. That's telling us that's the folder that we are saving inside of the shed tracks folder. Uh, the one that's highlighted in gray 
towards the bottom of the screen. So if we click save in the top right hand corner, we have now saved that track to our folder on our iPhone inside of our files app inside of that shed tracks folder. Okay. So I'm going to back out now and show you how to navigate to that folder when you want to come back and actually play to your shed tracks from your phone. Okay. So let's just say, you know, you wake up the next day after your purchase and now you want to access the files that you've saved on your phone. Just navigate back to your files app, click on it. Then you see at the bottom, we have recents and browse. So you want to click on browse and now you want to click on, on my iPhone because we actually save the, the, the folder on our iPhone. You could also save it to your iCloud drive if you have that, um, available on your phone. Okay. So let's click on, on my iPhone. And then you, there you see, we have the shed tracks folder. So we go ahead and click on that. And there's our file, okay? Remember, we only saved one file inside of this folder. If you would like to save all of the shared tracks into this folder, you just have to repeat that process that I showed you. For each one, you literally just have to press that button on the bottom left-hand corner, go down to Save to Files, and now you can just open this shared tracks folder um, which means basically highlight it in gray and click save. And now you'll be saving all of your files into that same folder. So I hope this is clear to you guys. And um, that is how you save your purchases on your iPhone. Okay. Uh, there, there's another tutorial for Android that I'll uh, have up available for you guys as well. So if you have any questions, please contact us at support at shedtracks.com. If you are on a Mac computer, let me say this, uh, it will be pretty easy for you. So as soon as you just click the blue download button from uh, our email or from the actual Shed Tracks website after your purchase, it will just download into the folder that you have selected for things to download to from your browser. So for most people, that's just gonna be like your downloads folder if you're on a Mac. Um, and for a PC, I know you can do the same thing and select where your audio files will download to, okay? So um, hope this helps, guys. Uh, if you still need further assistance, please contact us at support at shedtracks.com. That's S-U-P-P-O-R-T at shedtracks.com. And we'll be happy to help you out, okay? Thanks, guys, for your purchase and um, looking forward to uh, serving you guys further, okay? Thanks. Bye-bye.